Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're going to talk about Vega, then later, Zen. So just recently, AMD revealed server components with GPUs on them, one of which is a Vega-based card. These are called accelerators, meaning that the GPU on them is used for calculations only rather than rendering 3D graphics like we're used to. Three were announced, the MI6, the MI8, and MI25. The MI25 is what we're interested in though because that one is using a new Vega GPU. There are no exact specifications right now, but some Redditors ran the numbers, and it's looking like the MI25 is going to be a 25 teraflop beast of a card, but that's FP16 performance. Only half of that will get us FP32 calculations, which matters for games, which brings us to 12.5 teraflops, or approximately Titan XP or GTX 1080 gaming performance, all under 300 watts. But that's not all. Raja Kadori confirmed that this is a single GPU card and also the best part, someone that was at the event managed to take video footage of an 8GB Vega GPU running Doom at 4K ultra settings at a higher FPS than the GTX 1080. I won't be showing it here but there is a link to it in the description unless it gets taken down. What I'm saying next is only speculation, so don't go spreading it as fact. But a Vega GPU at 12.5 teraflops would perform at about this level if it were on a graphics card. Since the MI25 is using HBM2, I'd bet this Vega GPU is using 8GB of HBM2 as well. This is the GPU that everyone has been waiting for. Under 300 watts, GTX 1080 Titan Killer, but also expect a GTX 1080 price at around 550 or above, but again, that is only speculation. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you come back and watch my AMD Zen coverage after it's revealed later on. Subscribe and like this video to show your support, and again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.